Hey, I get to go first again. That's always good. I'm doing that a lot today. <sighs> this hand is kind of good. Really mana screwed off the bat though, because you only get one activation off the mana vault. But if I mull, I'll probably lose. Plus his commander makes my sack effects. And my removal awful. Ugh, oh, fine, we'll mull. And that's even worse. Okay. That's actually very bad. It's the nature of this white-black deck, though, as you get hands like that. Eh, this is fine. Isn't it's really bad. We'd have strip mine if I feel like being a jerk and wanting to LDM. Uh... Let's see what he does. I'm probably going to lose this one. <laughs> Sigard is really good. I might be able to have removal for Avacyn. Let's see if I can top deck. That's not much better. True. That is true. I could strip mine him and give myself. I might do that next turn actually, just to slow him down. Cigar is really good. Mirror and Crusader. Uh oh, that's really bad for me. I'll wait a turn to strip mine because that also slows me down. Oh, I'm not gonna strip mine now. I play planes past the turn. Got a route. Route's really good. Play as many creatures as you want, Relic. You're going to lose them after a minute. Maybe I strip mine after I raft just to slow them down. Yeah, we're probably going to do that. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of playing LD spells, but I will play lands that blow up other lands. I mean, some people hate that, but really it's... One of the few ways to beat a green deck. Might also be really mean this game though, because if I L if I blow up his stuff, and then LD his forest, I'll feel real bad because then he can't cast anything. So also it lowers my land drop. So it's obviously really depends on what I draw. And even if I do that, there's no guarantee I can win this still. Hopefully I just start drawing business spells. Draw more rafts. I mean, I don't run the most rafts of all white black decks. I've seen people run up to 11 plus, which is actually awful because then you just have hands of nothing but rafts. However, four or five rafts is, is, is perfect. I will run, run five in here, plus Magister of Worth. So six rafts. Six rafts is beautiful. All right, I'm at 35. Uh, just run out. Isolated Chapel. I don't want him to think I can actually do anything yet. He's played against Orzhov before, so he knows what's in it. So he might suspect a route. Although he might suspect a raft since I have four mana open anyway. Also, it's off topic, but Jun Park makes the best looking lands. No, that's my opinion, so if you're offended by me liking Jun Park lands, whatever. There also is Endicar Full Art, which is probably the best. I mean, there's a good argument that... Oh gosh, that's really busted, actually. Double str- yeah, I have to Raft next turn, which is really annoying. I'll just ditch two lands. It's not so bad. So I'm going to take eight right here, and he's going to get double trigger. All right. Uh... uh Homeward path. And then the first strike damage comes in. Swamp. Which makes Urborg a lot better if I draw it. Also, that does make Cabal Coffers really bad if I draw that. So Yeah, I have to Wrath. Otherwise, I'm gonna die way fast. Fine. Uh two. Four. No. Let's 
let's do this right. There we go. Cast. <laughs> there we go. Blue the world. Um. We'll see if you can recover from that. Or hammer. That's fine. So my bet is oh, that's good. Uh commander. Gosh, stop being stupid and tap your lands the right way. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'll wait a turn. I really don't want to do it. He's probably loses anyway. I mean, if he goes like cultivate or something, then yes. All so far, all he's doing is playing equipment. I'll just play it. Oh, never mind. That's really good. Hi, Stoneforge. You're kind of stupid. AKA, she's really stupid. Uh, yes. Why would you ever say no to Stoneforge? I guess if you don't have a reason to shuffle your deck, you like the card on top of your deck, or you don't have any equipment left, then yes, you'd say no, but... Feast and Famine. Oh, this is kind of the... Just play the strip mine. I'm not going to use it, but... It protects the Ghost Council. Yes. You know, actually, I kind of want that land. Yes. Uh, yes. I still do get the land. All right. Let's get. Just in case we draw a couple of coffers. So that only slows me down a couple turns. Just throw both of these on Stoneforge and attack. That's also really good. Oh, your mana screw. Maybe I'll comment how the strip mine is just. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's just kicking a dog down. Oh, Herbart. 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 Herberg makes everything better. Actually, don't do that. Just equip. The bloody equipment. I mean, that's probably just game right there. I wish I had the blue-red sword. And then I could... You know, you discard a card, I draw a card, and I untap my land. Can you win through that? Probably not. Let's just do this. One, three, four. Doesn't really matter. Goes council. Yay. This is a very slow deck, which means he could still recover. Ghost council tends to take forever, which is the unfortunate drawback. That's a good card. Sylvan is a good card to try to make a... Gosh, my grammar typing is awful. Come back. Oh. Except that was drawn. I guess I should have played it pre-combat. I don't really care at this point. Actually, that's really bad unless you to get a creature. That 
that is true. Yeah, I should have played this pre-combat. That was a mistake. I will put that in my mental note. We do have like four charge counters on Jitte. That's not bad. What was bad was my idiotic play mistake of not playing you pre-combat. Which is kind of relevant. I'm just going to pay the two life. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yay, I can top deck. I'm not gonna comment that. That's just rubbing salt in his wounds. Actually, strip mining would be rubbing real salt in his wounds, and that was a game. And he left, unfortunately, before I could say GG. But I'll be playing him more often. Alright. See you guys next week.